All right. Good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are based. And welcome to our webinar today where we're going to take a look at how Windshield handles supplier management. My name is Rob Romanowski. I'm the Director of Sales Operations with 3HTI. And leading the presentation and demo today is Shane Rigger, who is a solutions consultant and applications engineer with PTC's Virtual Center of Excellence. So, Shane, thanks a lot for helping us today and leading the presentation. So if anybody has any questions or have anything you need, just type them in the Q&A box. We'll try to answer them as we go along, but we will definitely answer all questions by the end. So, Shane, you have control. We see your screen. Perfect. All right. You, thanks, Rob. You're Thank welcome. you. All right. So like Rob had mentioned, uh, we're going to be going through Winchell Supplier Management. And the main focus for this is to be able to enable any company to integrate and manage any supply chain data within Windchill. And we always want to start it off talking about challenges that we see in industry around uh, how our customers are, uh, what they're faced with around supplier management. And it starts with the increasing customer and market demand. So with products becoming more and more complex, there, there's often a, often a lot of different options or variations which are offered with products. And that requires a lot more uh, product diversity, of course, so uh, portfolio sizes, and a lot more components are being added in. So organizations need a way to be able to organize that information, working with different vendors, suppliers, manufacturers. And not only that, but there is a lot of internal cross pressure to help lower that product cost. And what that does is it requires companies to be able to optimize any spending or inventory. And of course, it, to improve that, that efficiency of their workforce that they have. So that means uh, having an organized and tr transparent approach towards being able to select and manage the, the manufacturers that they're working with, the pricing, the cost structure, all of that is going to affect any bottom line. And then finally, along with that, the product complexity and of course the evolving parts over time, the supply chain complexity is a, another very critical area. So working with specific suppliers that fulfill current requirements, that doesn't mean that that's going to remain the same status throughout a life cycle. So parts can become obsolete. There might be new functionalities or standards that are required. And all of this is happening more frequently as any product development cycle uh, would shorten. So the solution to those challenges is with uh, with PTC is with Winchell Supplier Management, also known as SUMA. And this is all around, like I mentioned, enabling companies to be able to integrate and manage any supply chain data within Winchill. And that starts with the multi-dimensional bombs. Uh, so bill of materials, meaning that you can relate manufacturer and vendor part information uh, to your OEM, your original equipment manufacturer parts, in the part structure itself. And I'm also gonna show this within the, within the demonstration. And you can also see a preview of that on the right-hand side here. So having your bill of materials, like I mentioned, and then those that, that uh, supplier information being associated to your bill of materials. And then of course, there's advanced searching. So when thinking about a, a standard component, often there's a large variety of different, like for example, washers, uh, slightly different diameters or uh, with bolts or nuts, things like that. So you obviously need to be able to search and filter through them in, in an efficient way in order to be able to get to that right information very quickly. And with Winchell Suma, it's extending that, that functionality that Winchell has by adding specific filters about the sourcing status that we just talked about. And you can also see that on the right-hand side as well. So being able to filter down between any approved uh, preferred vendors that you may be working with. And there's also the out-of-the-box reporting. So this is standard with Windchill upon any installation. There's no configuration needed for it. And the reports are going to allow you to pretty much quickly view and export information as needed, including information about the suppliers. And I'll also show that within the demonstration, going from a bill of materials to generating those reports. And the last point to mention here is that Windchill 
is going to provide that full digital traceability. So the information that's going to reside in Windshield can be traced throughout the whole product's life cycle. So if changes are made on that approved manufacturer's list or your approved vendor's list, that information is always available to your organization. And you can also see that within the image as well. So all those changes that have occurred uh, throughout the life cycle there. Now, moving into capabilities around Winchell Suma is firstly, it's allowing you to manage sourcing options and preferences. Again, this is really enabling any uh, relevant upstream stakeholders like your engineering or your design departments to be able to see the different options and make better decisions earlier on in the product's life cycle. And this also allows for reuse for the preferred suppliers during design. So any user, they're going to be able to select the right one simply because they have the required information. They're able to quickly see, like we saw previously, all the statuses for those different parts or uh, suppliers that you're working with. And then finally, uh, with Winchell Suma, it's providing a standardization around disqualification and introduction processes of new suppliers, as well as the parts that they're supplying. So this is helping to set up a standardized process, which in turn, of course, allows for better efficiency while taking in any internal compliance into account. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the demonstration and what I'm going to be covering is a lot of what we just saw, so the out-of-the-box reporting, understanding how parts and supplier information can be related, and also within the, the bill of materials that you'd be working with. So what you're seeing here, this is pretty much just the searching, the browsing within Windchill. And all we're going to do is go to the Classification Explorer. So what we're doing here is saying, okay, I'm coming in the Windchill. I want to find a part that I'm managing within Windchill, and then also find the supplier's information related to that part. So first, to find the part, we're going to use that classification explorer. It makes it very easy for someone to come in. In this case, go through electronic uh, parts that we're managing. In this case, we're searching for a capacitor. And then all of our capacitors that are stored within Windchill easily populate. So we're already in here. We already can find exactly what parts we're working with. And then you can utilize that faceted searching, like I mentioned, to then sort uh, filter by your approved uh, sourcing status. So those approved parts or vendors that you would be working with. So you can already see, it's very easy. Come in, find your part, and then being able to quickly filter down between. And then once you do find your part, simply open it up, and then you can start to see the related information for it. So here we can see the uh, related information in terms of the manufacturer's part number, organization ID, manufacturer's name, and also you can understand where this part's being used. So this is a really valuable tool within Windchill. And a, a quick example, let's say you're searching for a washer and you're using that washer on four different products. You can come to this tab, see where that washer is being used, and then understand the change impact that that washer would have. So if you ever make a change to that washer, it's going to impact the four products that you would see uh, within this expanded view. So it's allowing you to understand those relationships between your, your different parts and assemblies and products. Now to see a part that has a little bit better review for our different manufacturers, we can come into this one. And if we go into our AML, AVL, this is something we saw earlier. So this is showing uh, our, our one part we're in, and then we're able to see the approved manufacturers or vendors list. And you can see the manufacturers that we have. So in this case, an example, TDK Corporation. And then we can see on the right-hand side of that, that this is our approved manufacturer. So we can quickly understand it. We're not jumping between different systems to have this type of information. It's giving you this one single pane of glass to have this. And then if you also want to be able to see what parts this manufacturer is supplying to you and the statuses for those, you can also do that very easily. So you can simply just come into your manufacturer and then you have that entire list of all those parts that generally would be difficult to manage, but here you're storing it within the one system. So now to understand the what a bill of material structure whenever you're managing the supplier parts would look like, uh, this is what that would be. So here we're just coming into a, a a board, and then you can see all the sourcing status information directly tied to that bill of material. So again, giving you that one single pane of glass for all that information. If you have some that don't have an AML, then you would know that you need to then 
find an approved manufacturer for that part. And then there could also be different views that other users would need. So if you needed to see a further breakdown for any reason, of course, you can always see that related information. So you're, again, tying the manufacturers into the parts, and then it's able to work hand in hand. So going from either view, if you're going from your manufacturer's view to see the parts they have, or if you're working within your bill of materials, you can then see all of the parts within that bill of material and the suppliers that can be related to that. And then also really valuable is being able to generate reports for this. So any bill of materials or any part structure you're working with within Windchill, you can generate a report for. And this is similar with the AML and AVL that we've been working with. So if you're working within your bill of material and you need a report with all that sourcing status information to be related in that report, again, very simple. It's already related information. So you're just generating the report and then you can see how that information would be associated and tied into that report. And then, like I mentioned, there might be those different views that you would be working with. So you can quickly jump between the different views to have the most relevant, important information being represented within your bill of materials here. Okay, so now let's say you wanna be able to compare your part structure over time. So understanding maybe the different uh, vendors that you've used on a specific version or just the, the design changes that occur over a set period of time or, or, or baselines. So what you could do is you could compare the history or what you can do is set baselines. So let's say, for example, you want to understand the changes that have occurred over the next six months. So what you could do is create a baseline today, and then you could create a baseline in six months and then you simply can come into the comparison tool, uh, choose what information is going to be included within that comparison, and then simply run that uh, run that here. And then once it populates, you're going to notice it's going to be really beneficial in just quickly showing you what changes actually occurred over that time and that history of changes. So here, if you hover over any object in the center, you can see the child differences, for example, any attribute differences. And then you can also expand those out and actually see the changes uh, between those two different versions. Okay, so that's all I had to cover for the demonstration portion. And before we wrap up, I just want to talk about how this can really benefit any company that needs to manage their supplier information. So first of all, with Winchell Supplier Management, as you saw, it's providing, it's going to provide a reduced time to market as any engineers can make decisions earlier based on that information. So whenever they're needing to find the correct parts, understanding what parts they already have within the system, they're able to quickly find it and then work off of what's already existing. They're not recreating anything here. And it's also allowing any organization to be able to standardize uh, a process around the supplier introduction and disqualification. So that's gonna help avoid, again, any redundancy uh, with any parts being managed. And lastly, uh, Winchell's supplier management can help to reduce your supplier component inventory cost. So coming back to the, the standardization portion, you can make sure that you're getting the right parts at the right time. And all of that allows you to redu reduce the amount of inventory cost that is associated to housing those parts within Windchill. And uh, like Rob had mentioned, if there's any questions, you can feel free to put them in the Q&A and we can answer any that you may have. Hey, Shane, short, sweet, and to the point. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's it's a tremendous capability within Windchill. I mean, Windchill is very, Windchill can be as sophisticated or as simple as you need it to be. And, you know, being that it's, that, that it's a customizable solution for PLM, you know, we've had a lot of success in uh, helping our customers, you know, basically manage their data, you know, within the enterprise, outside the enterprise, with suppliers, um, just to connect all of those data points and help people to get the right access to that data at the time that they need it without having, also without having to sift through a bunch of data that doesn't pertain to what they're looking for or what they need. So if, um, if you'd like to speak further about how we can assist your company um, with 
making the flow of your data smoother throughout the enterprise for product development, just respond to the email invitation for this webinar, or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O at 3HTI.com, or you can give us a call at 866-364-3529. Uh, and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So we're not going to have a webinar next week. It is Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving holiday. But we will be back with a webinar on wind chill change management on the 29th of November. So thank you, Shane, and thank you, everyone, for being on. Have a great day. Take care. And the recording will be out. I'll have it posted probably later today and uh, today, tomorrow morning at the latest, and I'll have the um an email sent to you with a link to the recording on our YouTube page.